That's not a fucking nine to five dick like. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not. Uh... Hello and welcome back to Are We Podcast, episode fifty nine. We are sponsored by Prize Royale, Love Pizza, and Monte Carlo, and I'm here with my two podcast co-hosts. Peter Geffen and Sean Well McAlevey. Will McAlevey? William. William. Sean Well, I said. Or oh, Sam- Sean I meant to say Samuel. I fucked it up. Just welcome back, guys. How are we doing? Yeah, it's all good. All, we good. all good in the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, good to be here, guys. Good to be back. Are we comedy clubs back tonight at the time of us recording this? I'm so excited. Look at the merch, actually. Fuck it in here. Yeah, let's go. Okay, go. Right, right, you stand in front of the camera and model it. It's organic now, cotton. Look at this fine specimen of a man. Um, what what size are you wearing? You should do you should do that do that Japanese TikTok boy. Look at this fine young specimen Irish boy. Look at his buttocks, beautifully oh, right. Is that guy that's the suit? Oh him, <laughs> he's metal. Jack, Jack McGee tweeted that being like me every time I'm bringing someone on stage. I can't, <laughs> fine I can't wait Irish to boy. unwrap this gift wrap little child. You're like whoa, bro. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. are we comedy club merch? Yeah, so they're all sale now, and they're going to be up for a very limited amount of time. Uh, we have like an online sale for them as well, so just head over to like the link in the YouTube or go on to the Are We Podcast comedy page. Yeah, is that what that feels like? Organic cotton. Feels like boyfriend material. I knew you were going to yes, say sir. that. And you're right, sir. You're right. You have uh, this on, you'll have no problem, troubles pulling in the Ulster Sports Club on a Friday night, I tell you that much. I like it. Yeah. No, Catch this me is- this Friday. In the top of Ulster Sports Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. one. Um, I like it. Now, this is coming from a bass man who, Loves as we all know, loves a black shirt. Yeah, yeah. Even, even when you're not fully black. It's black. Yeah, uh, well, I ordered, I ordered some clothes the other day. You were in cargos, yeah. I've noticed this. Yes, I'm yeah. wearing, yeah. wearing cargo trousers because I, I wasn't enjoying it. My, my jeans are skinny jeans. Like. How many pairs of jeans do you own? Uh, how many pairs of jeans do I own that I wear is a different question. You're right, but, okay, let's go with that because that's probably a man question. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Um, probably two. Two pairs of jeans? Yeah. See if you go back in the old podcasts, like the first couple of episodes, you you wear some bright stuff, like do you? yeah, some really bright stuff. I was going back because I'm getting the Facebook memories of when we first started yeah. doing the podcast, and you're wearing like flowery shirts, you're wearing like bright t-shirts, you know. You weren't Doc Martens. I don't think we are. I don't think yeah. No, you weren't Doc Martens. I just seen one flowery shirt and went. He used to wear mad stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just yeah. seen one flowery shirt. I simulated the. Joe, I am. I I have. I'm one of these people that has like five, six things to wear. And I just yeah. wear it on repeat. See if I buy something brand new, that's all you're gonna see me wear. Like yeah. for the last while, I've just been wearing the new cargos I got well, on stage. But I got these cargos and four different forms of black t-shirt. <laughs> that's me for six months. I need to like. I, I like. I like to treat myself to a new outfit every month I'm paid. Well, question. That's like my my thing. I'd go. Question for you: How many pairs of jeans do you own? Uh, no, no, I'm wearing, I'm wearing, trousers like, is a better one. And trousers. He doesn't yeah, always just trousers, wear jeans. Yeah. Well, no, just go. I want jeans first. How many pairs of jeans do you own? Uh, what six? And do you like wear them all regularly enough? Yeah. Well, it depends. Regularly is so once every two months. Once every two months. Okay. Yeah, well, if every ba- six weeks is yeah, regular. Yeah, or yeah I have like a different that. different pair and uh, different colors and different shades. So depend on the outfit I'm wearing, I want a color coordinate. Okay. I'm so building like, something here. So how many pairs of trousers do you own? About twelve. That's fucking mad. That how do you? Mad. I have the pair jeans I have on me. Yeah. yeah. I have like a blue pair that's sort of baggy, a black pair that's sort of baggy. And that's it with jeans. Yeah. I bought myself a green pair recently, lost a run of myself, put them on green once. Green pair jeans? jeans? Yeah, like loose yeah, sort of like like. ones. Yeah, exactly. That's so why I don't wear them anymore. Uh, <laughs> no, like, like a Shiva pair? I know, I'd like a pair. Like, I like I yeah. like cords in the winter, and then I like sort yes. of dickies in the summertime. Well, here's, here's where I was leading to this question, yeah. bring it up. How often do you wash your jeans? Not often. Every two days. What? Not, every not two not hours, often. you mean? Like, every, so every two. So, why, how often do you wash them every other day? I was, uh, these jeans have been washed... I, if I wash these once a month, that's good going. Like. Yeah, so Wait, so like... If I wore these for like a week straight, I'd probably wash them at the end of that week. Yeah. But like if I'm wearing them once or twice a week, probably not for a month. You're joking me. I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. I, I'm like, I think I'm the vast majority wear, of people would probably agree yeah. with us. I'll, I'll, wear, I'll, I'll wear, in the comments whether yeah. or not you like change your, how often you change your if you, jeans. If you wear black... Buy it only because I don't want to get cancelled. Which yeah. I, I wear obviously all black jeans. If you wash black jeans regularly, they fade like fuck. Yeah, right. Well, I'm, I'm not a black jean guy, so... Yeah. He's like, next, roll, give me these actually, because they didn't fit him. Right. So as soon as he was going for them out, I was like, get them over the fuck. See, my thing is going to Edinburgh. I don't want to be walking around like skinny jeans all mm. day, because my jeans, they are, they're fucking, they're too tight. Like, they're really, really proper, like, emo boy band skinny jeans. Yeah, like, yeah. And <laughs> fucking walking about, like, and rocking shorts for a wee while there, but the shorts aren't always appropriate. 
you know can't be wearing shorts on stage. I do like wearing shorts on stage, but some people have some weird superstitions. But I might wear shorts on stage. So I went cargos here. They're nice. They're you a go bit more trendy and a bit more, you know, comfortable. Where did you go for your, your Giacomo? Shop? Giacomo? Giacomo. Oh. Fucking ideal sponsorship. I can get a Giacomo sponsorship. Is that like your yeah. top tier now? Who yeah. you want to sponsor the podcast? That, that's probably the uh, most practical. No worries. That's nice. Um, but yeah, no. Can we, just want, uh, something that's been dominant in the news this week that I just want to ask if you've seen. Because it's, it's lighting up my group chat. My cargoes? No, 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 not quite the cargoes. Have you seen this guy and he's let his wife sleep with yes. another man oh, Jason Love? Yeah. It is like a, my group chat are obsessed with it. Like, so, so this is so um, Adam, 22. Boy, Adam 22. Adam 22 goes yeah. out with another uh, porn star. Model. Isn't it? Yeah, and I didn't realise he was a, he was an adult film star. And he uh, He's not really though. He just interviewed them and no, stuff. No, 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 what it is, it's like, you haven't got the info. I've got the fucking info. I've just been following the black I guy. Didn't say t- yeah, I'm team him. <laughs> Do you know who the crack with? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they have a podcast called... No Jumper. No Jumper, right. <laughs> she used to be a porn star. Yeah. She's no longer a porn star. Since they started going out and doing the podcast, they would get porn stars on. And interview well, them. Po- 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 point of information, they've been married for like six years. Six years, yeah. Yes. So Have they not been married just a month? No, no, no. it's a while. So they will have like... Where the porn star comes on, like we're like, here, do you want to do like a wee video? Yeah, you, my wife, and me. So he has technically a porn star, but only ever with his wife At and present, another yeah. woman. Yeah. So he's and had then, the best of both worlds. Like, yeah, he's, he's greedy. And then the things came Even up from the buffet. where she's had the opportunity, or whatever it was, she was then going to sleep with like the biggest male porn star. Big Jason fucking, Love. Is that Jason, Jason Love? Jason Love. Good, good man. And he's went. Uh, I fucking you tear away. I've had my fun for the past. But Jason Love in the years. videos is like. You know, she hadn't been he, you know, he, he rings him up. He rings the guy up afterwards. Yeah, yeah, and just told he's him. Let him. Yeah, this and is, no, 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 just, uh, Jason Love. Them. Jason, for anyone that's watching the audio, this microphone is about what half the fucking half of Jason Love. Half of Jason Love. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Jason Love. He, he knows what he's doing. And as he, the top, like, I've as done well. the research. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's put the work in, and he put the work in on her. And <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> I mean, myself, I done the research earlier on and watched the video. Was that was just lighting up my group chat and. It's nothing special, like I've seen seen other stuff, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, I would have loved pizza. Now online with a brand new app, guys. I love pizza, and that's why I don't go anywhere else but love pizza. See, to be honest with you, the only Domino's I'm interested in is the game that I play with my granny. I wouldn't go there from a pizza. I go to love pizza because there's pizza and I love it. Do you know what I used to think? I used to think I just loved pizza mm. and loved curly fries, and then I realised. Why not just have the best one? The love pizza curly fries, the love pizza pepperoni pizza. It's just the best you can get. Some things change in life, but the quality of love pizza never does. Stays constant. So check them out. www.lovepizza.com I've seen better clips, you know. Thompson's Alleyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Milf, Milf Hunter's just better. But, but that, that's actually the, the name for a vagina. Thompson's, Thompson's Alleyway. Alleyway. <laughs> after, after Jason Love was done. Uh, it's, he's a fucking... But then afterwards, they were asking him... I don't get... Right, here's a point I'm trying to make. People are like, the, the, the video was amazing. Like, the way you decided to finish that way and all, what was your mindset? Like, it's a fucking post-match interview. Yeah. And he's like, well, uh, I'm not going to do the black man's voice. He's like, well, I've seen Chad being stretched in a while. <laughs> you couldn't have you tried. Well, I was like, <laughs> my, my, my argument with that would be, is we talk wank about fucking... Comedy. Comedy. Okay, yeah. Other people, it's just, it's just telling jokes. What are they on about? So it, but we understand the nuances. So they on the, understand the nuances of their industry. She was a tight five? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine going to a porn convention. Were you, were you for this? You're like, you're going to... Uh, uh, give me a chair if you bucked me before. Yeah. <laughs> Any students? Give me, <laughs> give me a chair if this is your first time. Oh, uh, to Janet. <laughs> give me a chance to make ready for us for showing up tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Just your here, first time went, in the front row? I went under time. I lost the heart. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, it is, it's popping off. But here, fair player to the guy, he's doing what you should do. He's only supporting it. his he's wife. He's doubling down. You can't, you can't, you can't slag someone who's... Bulletproof and own it. No, you can't. You can't. Big Jason Love's making a a good go at it, but he's slagging him. Hey, he's not, is he? He yeah. was. There was an interview he's that happened afterwards, yeah. and he's like, he's like, I could tell, like, I'm surprised I'm doing the voice now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. I could tell she hadn't been stretched in a while, yeah. and he goes, uh, and like, I'd definitely be bigger than her husband. She was, even though there's love involved, I've still given her a better pleasure than her husband's ever given her and stuff. But to a certain extent, you had a card. That's literally just. Factual, yeah. Well, oh, he's yeah. sure to be. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's playing the heel role. He's not like he's, slagging. He's like fucking saying something that isn't true. It's like yeah. he literally is just biologically fucking better. Do you, than but do you know what I think? What's what's caught him up in this situation, your boy Adam? It's the fact that they do the podcast together. I seen a clip, and it was like he's asking her about it, like interviewing her about it and yeah. all. And he's like, like, was it better? And she's like, 
it's different and you can just see his eyes he like, dies inside oh, of it yeah. that's the thing I think I fucking I believe her when she said that because like if you ask any woman like there's like the normal fucking range here mm-hmm. like yeah. fucking I don't know from about 5 to about 7 and a half yeah. these guys are like fucking 12, 13 yeah yeah I don't give a fuck what anyone's uh, how bad bitch you are. That's fucking Ekin. Yeah, that no, girl would have been wrecked for a couple of days. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm not saying it probably wasn't good for her. Maybe it was, but I'm saying it was like, good for her. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Maybe it was like yeah. full like, of nutrients, love. It's like <laughs> that's not a fucking nine to five dick. Like yeah, no, that's, that's a that's a holiday. That that's fucking it's <laughs> that's a round the world wild. cruise, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Every ten Stop years, the Caribbean. <laughs> Disney Princess Cruise. This is your captain, Jason Love speaking. Uh, he, uh, but it was, it's, it's insane. But the, the, I suppose we're talking about it now. But it's just so. Excuse, excuse, yeah. We went in deep. Yeah, yeah. We, excuse the pun. This isn't this isn't our usual no, conversation. But uh, we're just like going, why do people care about that porn stuff? Why would they be that interested? And now we're you, you, were, you were very keen to bring it up. Yeah, because it's it's dominant in my group mind. chat. Like like me, uh, one of my best. Mates. Hi, hi, is your family group chat? It's going That's well. good. And my dad, <laughs> my dad changed my nickname to Jason Loving it. <laughs> Your mom's Google history. <laughs> Who is Jason Love? <laughs> There's uh, one of my best mates, but he, I would sort of slag him a bit in the group. I would have like, would have would have tried uh, just slagging him any chance I got, right? Okay. And then we were on holiday, and he was walking out to the balcony, really hungover. And when he was walking out to the balcony, <laughs> <laughs> Kieran's got all nervous because the barman's walked behind the fucking camera. <laughs> he, he, he walked out. He walked out to the balcony, and it's like really hungover. My mate Brad debagged him. And what he had, was, good or bad, was an AK forty seven M sixteen intergalactic <laughs> battle star, star destroyer. He like, got the intervention with the super scope it, on it. it. <laughs> the balance of our relationship has changed since then. Would that have been something that you would have slagged him about, though? We never realised that he was. No, but is, was that one of the things you did slag him about, or you just slagged him in general? My mate Brad was like, uh, he's always had a big dick. As I talking about earlier, mate, I'm not going to say right, who it is. Okay. And I was like, no, he doesn't. He was come here, and he walked out to the back, and he really hung over, and he just debagged and went, look at that, and I went, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> That is a monster. <laughs> I don't know if the camera will pick oh, this yeah. up, but they see the whites of your eyes. Like, <laughs> it was like, you know, the Meg. They're like, you've never seen a Meg like this before. Like, oh, like well, like in football? Like, like Jurassic Park, where they're like, this is the biggest dinosaur we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is... And I, I, no, I didn't slag him the rest of the holiday. Where, I, where were you? Bundoran? Bar- Barcelona last summer. Right, okay. Oh, you kept that quiet for the past yeah. year? It's just... I, one of my, he's one of my good mates. And like, I would have slagged him a good bit. And we were in the nightclub waiting in the queue, and I went... You do know that I like you, like, and I'm sorry that I've uh, <laughs> I've been mean to you what before. What he's gonna do? Why? Why? why, why you like, think he's gonna fuck your best? What is he wrong? He went from slagging him, find out he's got a big dick, and be like, "All right, mate." But I cannot. Do I want to do your washing for you at all? I cannot put in the words like it was like a bottle of Hennessy. Your hands look like they're putting in the words. You're like fucking this. Yeah, it was like a bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> what? Beggar. Fuck off. No you sh- I'll tell you who it is after when you see and you when you see him. It is. It'll be Show like, me the dick. Let me see. You sparked like, my interest here. But anyway, today I changed his nickname in the group chat to Jason Love. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. But, uh, but moving on from the porn, I want to say, I was in uh, Tony Gall. Speaking of love, you watch Wimbledon. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, have a, a fucking lovely, lovely wholesome story to tell you, yeah. by the way. Go. Uh, this is, uh, this will change the dynamic. Uh, so I was, in, I was in Donegal with, with my grandparents and stuff. Um, I'm not ready for this. Can we just take a second? This is yeah, this so is, and my granddad, my granddad whipped out even bigger dick. <laughs> A well, proper, uh, I used to slag you. Yeah, a proper yeah. Italian style. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go but ahead I, I, and he was talking about the time that uh, I used to sit at house house when my parents were away on holiday. And apparently one night I was screaming and crying. And he came in and I was like, what's wrong here? What's wrong? And I was like, oh, I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare. It was the worst nightmare ever. It was the worst nightmare ever. And he was what's wrong here? And tell me what happened and I'll help you out. And he went, tell me what happened. And I went, no, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. It was too scary. It was too scary. And apparently I rolled over and pointed at Thomas. I was like, ask him. He was in it. <laughs> 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 and what happened? I don't know, that's Thomas. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's such a shit story. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought you were going to level up with like, <laughs> it was going to be like the Russian dolls of Dexia, they just get smaller and smaller. And then we're going to his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you're worried about? Jesus Christ. Uh, um, so why are we, why are we in Donegal? Because he's our... The 12th, because well, we're Catholic. Yeah, cause we're we're Roman Catholic. No longer in the boys, boys Brigade, so you're on the way to Donegal. Yeah. What did you do? Uh, I actually just went home to Newry and hid. Didn't actually do anything. Right, yeah. Just did the rounds and visited the farm. It was the most relaxing two days I've had in a while. Yeah. Genuinely, like I got a load of stand-up work done, got a lot of admin done, edited quite a few clips for this, mm. and then at about four o'clock, about me and my aunt and uncle, <laughs> who I haven't seen in ages, went up to the pub and had a few pints, had a nice catch-up, and then had a slap-up meal. Slap-up meal? Then went back, 
had a few orange gins oh, for King Billy. Yes. And then... That's what he would have wanted. Watched a couple of documentaries on Napoleon. Straight to bed. Perfect. Relaxed. Small man syndrome there. Yeah. Uh, me small and boys him, watching me Napoleon. And him, me and him would have been bros. <laughs> <laughs> Two small dick men. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't do anything on the 12th. Uh, but on the 13th, I had a wedding. Lovely. Where's the, the wedding? Um, Adam 22's Service was in, <laughs> Service was in Dai Trasna And then the We after thing Was in the Donadre The what? Donadre D- You're not even speaking English What was that? Donadre The Donadre Yeah Where is that? Antrim <laughs> You're the Donadre It's where my other auntie got married Yeah, yeah. Can I be completely honest I can't stop thinking about this boy's dick <laughs> See I uh, Intrusive thoughts yeah. <laughs> just I'll get him out with us next time You've had conversations with him quite a few times so I, if you go I, I, like, I'm keen to know who it is See so like, if you go to me and go I'm going to show you a photo of him off his podcast And show me a photo of you It's and wee I'm Andy you, I'm going to kick you It's wee Andy No it's not <laughs> been, it, it, all I sense. gotta write a name on my phone Is it that name? Yeah I fucking knew it was <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be him Yeah 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 Well Get down to man's next week we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get him on stage <laughs> for five minutes um, oh, holy moly. Anyway, enough about fucking yeah, penis. Enough penis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is not expected. We're talking about <laughs> love here. We're talking about Marge. Yeah. Um, sitting in the fucking chapel, right? Uh, Marge is going on. Lovely. Good priest, by the way. Uh, quick and easy. Straight in. No butter. Nice. Um, but 45. Nice. Good bit of banter. Didn't take a piss. Good bit of banter. Did he do any singing? No. Hey, um, fucked up gay, yeah. He did. What, what was the banter? He came out, well, he came out with some banter. What was it? Um... It was really lovely day, really, yeah. really nice weather, and he was all, I'd just like to start off by saying, you're welcome. I prayed for the weather last night. Everyone's all, unbelievable. Father yeah, Michael, class, what a genius. Class, he's all, you're welcome. And then he was all, unfortunately, I'll not be able to make it to the, the afterdo, but I've been told with some of the clientele that's going to be going here tonight, we're going to be doing 24 hours confessions tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> fucking take the route. Oh. You had a tight five. Oh, <laughs> man. It was unreal, but um, wedding going to plan, all good. Go to put the rings on. Groom's ring doesn't fit his finger. Has he packed on a what? few pounds since? Picked the wrong ring. Apparently oh. the like backup ring. So like yeah. the, the bride had a couple and the groom had a couple. Okay. And instead of bringing a bride and a groom's one, they brought two brides ones. So like it one, it wasn't even like a just like his finger swole or something. Like it not even do the pinky job. He had to put on the pinky. Like. I could never imagine myself wearing like a ring forever. Like I've never wore rings. I was, that freaks this, me out. I was talking to this about Teresa and I was like, I fucking don't like the idea of wearing rings. And she's like, you just don't want to wear a wedding ring. Yeah. I, thought, I just yeah, don't want to wear jewellery. I yeah. only wear a watch for fucking stand-up. Yeah. You could put yours around your neck <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Yeah, do you that. know what? That, I would look That's like a good a, compromise. I would look like a total wanker, but I would do it. Yeah, That's that, what I want next, uh, a necklace. I think that'll be my next purchase. Chain or a necklace? Like a, a necklace with a crucifix on it. <laughs> my next purchase. <laughs> my next <laughs> 12 inch <pitch> deck. <laughs> <laughs> My next purchase is Lena the Plug. Lena the Plug's only fans. <laughs> Can we get Jason Love on the pod? Can we uh, stop talking about this shit? I, I, think, I think it's going to go on for like a week. This, this yeah. episode's scrapped. They're just going to talk Can about it. We get him on the pod if you want to come on. You and only Slag and the guy does the cooking come on together. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we sausage special? Fuck, <laughs> it was set up. Let's make Big BC. BBC. Sausage, <laughs> sausage soda. Um, but no, it was a good wedding. Do you know what they did for uh, a first dance? What? Think of an iconic dance scene from a movie. I'm having the time of my Maniac. life. Maniac. Flash dance. Is that what we're going? No. Flash, flash dance. what it is. Uh, no. Uh, Weirder. Dance. Is it like Beyonce or something like that? No. no the Mask movie. or something? 90s. Movie. Movie. Bird is the word. No. no. The dance from Pulp Fiction. Oh, that? John oh, Jones. Oh, yeah. 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 In the shuffle. Yeah. Can you get behind that? Like, that's nice. Yeah, they did that. Did they and go uh, for that sort of theme of a wedding? Like, that sort of like 90s? No? no, not that sort of a theme, but they're both, you know, when it happened, you're like, oh, well, that's not out of character for those yeah. people. Right, okay. What would your wedding tunes be? Tunes? If you had to t- pick a song. No, I, probably, I, I legit probably have about 500,000 million. Yeah, I, you, you would shit away. Like, I, I think like, you've got I've quite probably, a few. I've. Million songs for every fucking scenario. Would you want? Yeah. Would you want? Like, would your first dance song be important? Yeah, I would just video that. Like, like first, you, you let the woman pick that. No, I would want no the song. Yeah. Why? Cause I, I like really like music, yeah. and that means a lot to me. Like, and like I get sentimental over musically. We're not uh, robots, sir. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'd be focusing on the important stuff. He'd be always a fucking goose shot. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the twister cocktails? <laughs> Someone get some pepper sauce for this dinner. Fuck me. Uncle Aldi here. Yeah. <laughs> what would your What would yours go for, Sean? Then song. Yeah. 
Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't care less. And like sorry for, see anyone that asks questions for music with this podcast, I'm not answering Crazy anymore. Crazy frog. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Just, Joe, as, Joe, as as you go for I would, I would hate, no, I'd hate the cliche stuff. Do you like all like the... McDonald's, uh, McDonald's. No, like, do you like Ed all that Sheeran. stuff? Ed Sheeran and all. Yeah, you and wouldn't do that? No, no, I wouldn't do that. I hate Ed Sheeran. So what would you do? I don't know, it would probably be some trad song or something. I don't fucking know. Well, like the whole on British Soldiers? <laughs> no, <laughs> it'd probably be like... The episode of the podcast is sponsored by Monte Carlo Chippy, Lurgan, Belfast... Delivered straight to your door. Why not get a delicious chippy from the number one guys that do it best than anybody else? Chips with gravy, chips with curry, chips and a chicken burger, whatever you like. Monte Carlo moved into Lurgan quite recently. I don't think I've ever been more passionate about something in my life. Mm. Weekly, I'm there, I'm dipping stuff, I'm biting stuff, I'm putting salt and vinegar on everything, and I'm loving life. I've never been happier. Get it on a Monday, Sunday, lunchtime, evening, whatever you fancy. Make the right choice. Get a Monte Carlo delivered straight I to the guests. No. Um, Come out, you black and tan. Yeah. Just love comes in. <laughs> 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 just lifts your wife up, up the stairs. <laughs> and now, Bro. and now, a word from the best man. Yo, she. <laughs> Yo, me. <laughs> <laughs> I seen you hadn't been spreading the wells. <laughs> Yeah, for, uh, for, for uh, a pair of the for the hotel to put on a lovely spread. <laughs> There's some goose ones over there as well. <laughs> um, well, I'll just go for because I I have no answer. I, I honestly I have fucking millions. Maybe burning love by Elvis. That would be mine. Would you do a wee dance lesson? Because I know I I, think I, can, I can dance. No. so you you can't. You've seen me at Johnny Rose Madden dance. Hi, I had to go back to the Clandy Ball and pay a fine the day after. Well, I fucking fire on the floor or something. Because I ripped up the dance floor. You ripped up the dance floor. There we go. <laughs> uh, you're the most unhinged dancer I've ever seen in my life. They, they you are that meme of dance like nobody's watching. But that's good. Yeah, it? I was happy. And then the, the, the day after, it was uh, Lavery's and a room full of people I don't know. I was like, aye, awkward as fuck. Yeah. It's easier to dance in front of people you know, yeah, you, like, don't know. you don't know. We also had that day the burden of being the comedians, which means we had to be good crack, which means yeah. we had to be on the dance floor. Can I just say, someone else pointed this out. Nobody else in that fucking wedding was dancing. Yeah. Part of the comedians? Part from the comedians. Yeah, fair enough. Fuck them. Um, I think as well, when you, when, it's easy to dance in a room full of people you've died in your own in front of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. Um, she came up the aisle to like a fucking slow down version of like Islands in the Stream. <laughs> nice. Dolly Park. Yeah. Baby, yeah. Yeah. They I started like a really funky there. wedding. They kind of raged and I wasn't there. And the mum and the... Um, bride and her dad you know the first dance yeah. with them two was Johnny Cash like what was it like Rhythm and Blues or something yeah dance to that it's good like, like did they have a live band quirky live band and a DJ I had a, I had a, run, I had a run in with someone uh, I know recently about this because on the pod a couple of weeks ago I said um, I wouldn't wouldn't thank you for a live wedding band after right. Johnny Bo's wedding and <laughs> I hope she still watches the girl her boyfriend plays in a live wedding band right she's like why did you say that and he goes do you know why because she's about five grand that's yeah, why <laughs> that's it's that much money wedding bands wedding are, bands are thousands money. of pounds yeah. Yeah. wedding bands I know my dad used to work in a venue that had weddings in it and they'd run like normal events too yeah. and you'd phone say like fucking wedding band number one and go well uh, we're just having a normal night here how much would that be and they'd be like a grand for a five piece and be like sweet happy days and then you'd phone them again going well could you do next Friday as well and he goes yeah no problem by the way it's a wedding he goes, oh sorry it's five grand now literally yeah. just like that seriously yeah yeah i get my mate Big Nathan to play the guitar or something I would pick a I would I would choose my own playlist and what like and group the songs and the what orders it should be and then give it to the agent but this is what I want you to play yeah. but I trust you to play it in the right order but I, I, I think that'll be good because you'd have a bit of REM, a bit I, of fucking. On my scare, life, I've, I've seriously debated being a wedding DJ, and I would be fucking elite a lot. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Look, I remember. Uh, I'd be unreal. Though. Yeah, I think you would be good at that sort you of stuff. You gotta fucking feel the room and cater yeah. it all. Cater it all. You gotta see. You gotta. You have to put like an even spread out for like the first ten songs. Do you yeah. know what I mean? See what people are into, and then from there you mix it up. There's no room for being. You couldn't do it. Well, because I play Fontaine's and Indie music. Because you try and be cool, and there's no place for being cool as a wedding DJ. No. Also Grease, can't Grease talk. Mega Mixes. Yeah. ABBA. You yeah. have to play, you no. can't play B-sides. I, I, I'd, also, I'd also try and talk about, do you know when they recorded this uh, yeah. song that the Elvis do, was do high on Trampo? Well? Like for like, like culture weddings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what's like important though for like culture weddings as well? Yeah. You have to time rock the boat. At the right yeah. time, yeah. do you know what I mean? Straight after the buffet. No, straight no. Oh, no, it's they're off. Straight after the buffet, you're too full. I've had that before. Mm. And girls like, I'm not sitting down now. I'm fucking all bloated. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You gotta you gotta think about these things. I remember my uncles. There was a couple there, and no one really knew them. They were sort of invited along because some cousins knew them. And I was like, the fuck are these scroungers and all? And I was like, sort of not being rude to them, but I was just not 
like they're, they're, they're scrounging. You just called them fucking scroungers, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you were. And then, and then my uncle was like, apparently they work with like uh, Saturday Night Live and all, and fucking move the spit <laughs> across the dance floor, flip the buffet. Where was this? Uh, in Vegas. I was shit over right, okay. like, So you guys work with Saturday Night Live, I could be the next Peter E. Davis. Peter Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Not Peter. Jesus you probably Christ. will, in fairness. Um, can we talk a wee bit about, I told you a wee bit about this, about the, the gig offer I got during the week? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I get this fucking phone call back and... No, I get a text message. I'll read the text message out. I know I've already told you this, but I want to tell the fucking listeners, like, because it was just. I got done in a good one. I got a message. Do you still from, not know if this is true or not? Well, we'll get to that. I got a message from this number saying, Hey, Pete, give me a call with regards to a show I'd like to, you to be a part of over here in Glasgow. It's a comedy night for rehabilitated folks. This will be the first one we have done. Would be great to have you on board from Tony at the entrance, George Square, Glasgow. So I was like, right, no worries. So I rang this guy, and he had a proper fucking Scottish accent. And he was like, oh, mate, just run across the road here. Ring you back in two minutes. He's all right, no worries. And he rings me back. He's all, oh, sorry, mate, just fucking run across the road there, pal. And it was like a proper, like, really, yeah. really good yeah. Scottish accent. And he started telling me about this gig and about how it's for, like, rehabilitated people who are, like, alcoholics and drug addicts. But he's all, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I could do that there. And I was like, it's weird. Yeah, that he's... But you do it, like, yeah, yeah. you 100% do it, like, he's all, it has to be a clean set and all, you can't talk about, like, you know, drinking or drugs and all, and we don't serve, we don't serve beer or anything, you know, it's a clean bar. And I was all, yeah, no, sweet, 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 proper, trying to get that back. Get the, yeah. mm-hmm. And then he was all, I guess we did one before, but a load of people relapsed and actually ended up being <laughs> alcoholics again. And I was like, ah, oh, that's mad, that. Yeah. See, when, yeah. you, when you sent me this, I was on board and I was listening going, that yeah. sounds fucking great. And then, so like, he was all oh, sending the details through on an email. So I sent him an email address and I went, Ha, ah, that'll make my job easier. We'll send it through tonight. So then I was like, <laughs> He told me he was going to email me, but then he's just let on there that he hasn't got my email address. But I think yeah. in that situation, now that I've heard this story back, I'm going to email you and I still need to get your email. It's probably the thought he was going with. I know, and I didn't know. I was thinking that, and then I was thinking if I called him out, and then in the, in the, in the text message, he said it was the first one they did, but in the phone call, he said they'd done one before. And I was like, uh, something's not adding up here. Like, you, you were texting me. I was like, something, you're being pranked. But I was kind of like, who is it? I, was, I, I didn't know why. And then he, I was all, good man, no worries. Let me know what dates you're thinking, how much it'll be and how long of a set. And he goes, will you be able to do your usual comedy set plus an inspirational speaking set? <laughs> 10 to 12 minutes. And I was like, why does he want me to do this? <laughs> and then he hits back with, can you talk about how much you made? <laughs> Can you talk about how you made it where you are now as a comedian, despite all your adversaries? I think it would be a great avenue for the rehabilitated people to go down, as it's easy money. All monies will be discussed in the email chain. And I was sitting going, this guy's getting on as if I'm a fucking recovering heroin addict. Like. Yeah. yeah. But I was sitting there for fucking ages. and um, Were you not out as well at the time? Or no, you- I wasn't out. He said he'd email me at 7 o'clock. And I was like, I'll see if this email comes through. And if it doesn't come through, it's a spoof. And it never came through. And then the next day, I got two missed calls from the person when I was in the shower, mm-hmm. and then a text message going, fine then, I'll find someone else. I need someone who answers the uh, phone immediately. Right, okay. and as soon really as that happened, I was all <laughs> spoof. And I rang, it was my fucking mate Pringle. No way. <laughs> it was my mate Pringle, who is Scottish, Fuck. but, just but it up. moved to Northern Ireland when he's like eight, so he speaks like us. Yeah. yeah. Cause, and that reassured me, because it was like, I fucking knew it was a Scottish person. Yeah. I knew it was a genuine accent, and he just pissed himself. But That's mad, because we were like, we thought originally we heard this, that it was like another podcast, potentially. It could have been like Tommy McCarthy. Ranking, yeah. or I started like, looking up Shane Todd's live podcast, yeah. watching the first 10 minutes, skipping forward and all, <laughs> trying to see if it was getting pranked. Hey. I was near messaging Tommy McCarthy. It wasn't McCarthy. Shane Todd. It was fucking your mate Prankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, don't don't get ahead of yourself, kid. Oh, <laughs> just my Shane. Just my mate Shane. Oh, <laughs> close personal friend. Oh, sure, why wouldn't Shane prank me? You know what I mean? I was going to mention Tommy McCarthy. Being like, I all right, Tony. Imagine the dead would look like God. a dick. <laughs> but seeing the phone call, I was all, who'd you get my contact off? And in the phone call, and all, he was all, oh, I love your stuff, mate. And I was all the Teresa. He said, I got there. And then I was all, how'd you get my number? And he was all, oh, I got it from John. Uh, in Edinburgh and he like mumbled right, and okay. I was all like I can never I, can, I can't pronounce his surname either is it actually called John? fuck because the guy who I'm doing the Amber Fringe through it's a guy called Rick and a guy called John well he have known this since no. information no, just I, I, I said him pure fluke a pure fluke so I mean, I met, there's bound to be 20 million Johns in fucking Scotland yeah. like, I messaged the guy John I was all did you get my contact details to someone he's all no and I never would without permission and I told him the whole oh. thing oh mate I think someone's on a wind up told him the whole thing Red, no reply. Oh, fuck. So I'm just sitting there like, oh, these guys think I'm a fucking dickhead. Uh, like. But, but, 
we got a laugh out of it. it. Yeah. Didn't get the money, like, didn't happen. <laughs> didn't, didn't get the, the, didn't get the, the, the drug addicted community of Scotland. I but was fully prepared to pretend I was a heroin addict. <laughs> what, was like, he, what was the money he was saying on the phone? No, he didn't. He, he, he oh, wouldn't discuss a fee because he, I think it's because he wouldn't know. Yeah, what, he wouldn't what, know what right, money okay. is. Like. Or just, uh, That's fucking insane. Fuck it. I would have loved if you had said like 500 quid anybody yet. Yeah. How far I was he willing to take it though? This is what I want to know. I was near writing into a group chat that he's in. And if I'd read into a group chat that he was in, it would have lasted longer because he yeah. would have been like, he would have been like, get everyone on board, yeah, because yeah. he's done yeah. those days before. Like he is, he's known for like wind ups. Like a, is he gonna hop on YouTube? Do you want to aim we pranksters? No, no, oh, uh, just pure self pleasure. Just, just yeah, yeah, sad just out of it, yeah. <laughs> just sad living. Oh, but, that's um, fucking incredible. But this Friday was a big cultural event, by the way. Right? Do you know what it is? Yeah, this Friday, Lisburn, the Cardin, the Cardin. Oh, yeah, well, outside of that, outside I just say prohibition comedy in Armagh. I can't stop Pro- scratching my nose. Look like a fucking coke. Yeah, I don't I know what's going on. I just like a spot in my forehead. I'm picking as well. It's the it's the dust in here. Hey, uh, how are you? It's spot spot in here. Do you, you know what it is? This, floor? this Friday, <laughs> blowing off the dust, blowing off the cobwebs. Yeah, we're back tonight. This Friday, <laughs> fuck up. Um, <laughs> Jason Love joins the pod. No, uh, <laughs> right, this, go on. This what's Friday? this Friday? Oppenheimer and Barbie. It's not already out. I've seen, no, every, I've no. seen Barbie plastered everywhere. Yeah, but this being the primer, this Friday it comes Get out. Get out of your wee sister's bedroom. Yeah, no. It's not even funny, Pete. That's gross. That's a, she loves Barbie. <laughs> My older sister loves Oppenheimer. She's <laughs> <laughs> Oppenheimer. Oh, no, it's just a like Barbie. She's uh, Oppenheimer posters all over her room. Uh, uh, but are you just going to go see the double bill or are you just going to go to one of the other? Mm-hmm. Why is this a big deal? That these are coming out in the same day. Because they're two of the biggest films of the summer, and instead it's because of no, it's because the government don't want you to notice what's really going on, and it's a fucking. They're out to get you. Surely, big movies come out at the same time all the time. No, you know they're normally a week apart, so sort of they wouldn't want to compete against each other. So that's why Mission Impossible was released earlier because it didn't want to go up against. Here, it seem like I, it I, be I, that I, I'm going to bet on you right now. What? And I know nothing about movies. Yeah. Okay. And I know nothing about anything. Yeah. I bet you Barbie does better at the box office than Oppenheimer. Oh yeah, well Oppenheimer's a fifteen. Barbie's a you. So. <laughs> Barbie, yeah, you, you fucking you idiot. Fucking yeah. What? You, yeah. you virgin. Are you, you, don't know, you, don't, you don't know the BBC FC film suitability written? <laughs> <laughs> when I was wee five, I used to always think PG was my initials. PG, oh, P- when it said on like DVDs and all, I'd be like, oh, that's for me. See P- <laughs> when things were PG-13? No, no, sorry, not PG-13, 12A. So you're allowed in if you have an adult. Yeah. My dad would be like, nah. Feeling it today, like, and then <laughs> <laughs> your dog is just like, if nothing worse than spending time with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget them taking me to Revenge of the Sixth. This is the Star Wars film, and I leaned over to Big Daddy. Can I get like a Capri Sun? And he was out cold. I was like, Daddy, and he must have looking back, but just pretended to be asleep. But I was just getting up going, I want a 50p Capri Sun. No, 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 lad. Every week we get a more bleak insight yeah. into it. What yeah. a minute, we on. It's the 30th minute every week you get yeah. a wee fucking yeah. tragic story. Kieran's yeah, tragedy of <laughs> the week. Right. What's next? We're week? doing that. It's going to get We're worse. Yeah. But uh, Oppen, what is it? Oppenheimer, so it's about how the nuclear bomb was invented yeah. and how the government afterwards became obsessed that there were Soviet spies and that's how the Soviets developed an atom bomb far quicker than they should have. Uh, but what's Oppenheimer's? Is that Barbie's? Oh, that's the, that's the plot? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine fucking Killian Murphy as Ken. Ken. Killian like Murphy's good looking, but he's a weird good looking. Yeah. Yeah, well, Ryan Gosling's just gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I don't think either of those movies are for me. I don't think I'll. I'm, mm, I don't think I watch Barbie. Rob, Margaret Robbie's in it. Now that is a big selling point for the young seen the, audience. Like, seen the whole thing with her feet. No, oh, the, the no. whole fucking. Because remember, what do you call it, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes. Yeah. There was like a scene where like her feet were on like the dashboard. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't and her it feet. was and it was such like a close up thing. It was like there's no need for that close up to be there. Yeah. But it's just like running joke that fucking Tarantino was a food fetish. Tarantino yes. was all in that stuff. And then that blew up and all. And then in this movie here, there's like a fucking iconic scene as well where she like takes her takes feet, ah. feet out of the heels, but they're still in the shape of a heel. And everyone's like fucking losing their mind over it. They're like, after like, how do you feel about this? Yeah. People keep making like a big fucking deal about it. Like. So much people are so infatuated with your feet. That's so creepy. She seemed to fucking be in it. Like. Well, Tarantino famously... The Uma Thurman thing yeah, and all the that Salma Hayek, yeah. He gets the drink from her feet and from dusk till dawn and he wrote the film and cast it. Yeah. Which is just... So I, I'm in that scene. Yeah, yeah. So like, it <laughs> lasts 30 minutes or something. Like, fair play to him. Like, put a cheat code. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Kieran's all of a sudden pitching these ideas for like, right, so it's me and all these big golf girls and all like, yeah. and they have and all. And like, Jason comes in and fucking... Yeah. <laughs> it's an alternative comedy night. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very crucial part of the plot. 
Everyone needs to be there, but none of you guys, just me. And when, when you see Kieran's fucking recording at the Ulster Sports, it's just girls with fucking big dacks and goth fucking dresses on the front row. It's actually uh, no, it's all comedians. But um, <laughs> They're all being sound. No, I don't think either of those movies are for me. I, I'd like to sound that Oppenheimer movie, that would interest me. And uh, can I... Can I Kill that in an instant. It's five hours long. Three hours, Three long. hours long. Fuck that. I like. I, I, I do like long movie. Apparently, two hours. Apparently, two hours and I'm out. Apparently, box Florence Pugh. Don't know who that is. That see, right? I've heard that name before, and I'll know know her when I see her. But the, I'm bad with names. But who box Florence Pugh? Killing Murphy. See, apparently, there's, there's full frontal nudity. I don't want to see this. <laughs> the nuclear bomb doesn't. They go kill him. We need you to step in here and do a nude scene. I can't do it. Like we we'll have someone who will. <laughs> Killing Murphy, twenty five kills, straight drops a nuclear bomb. <laughs> It's, it's yeah. So uh, wait. So oh, what was I was gonna say there. Yeah, Kenny Murphy. He's a weird. He's a weird cat as well. Like, well, what's his deal? He mm. like doesn't know. And like, I know nothing about anything. But he knows nothing about fuck all. Like, do you ever see when they asked him, "How do you want your kids to grow up?" And he went, "Just as long as they aren't golfed, they'll be all right." <laughs> what he said in an interview? Yeah. Throwing tomatoes at the TV. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. And there's an interview recently, like Letterman or something, and he goes, "So your kids, they're young. How, 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 what are your hopes and dreams? How do you want them to grow up?" And he went, I don't know, like, as long as they aren't gaffed, I'd be happy. <laughs> I don't trust that. I, I genuinely guarantee... He says he knows, like, Joe doesn't know what TikTok is, social media is, but he's definitely saying that. He's like, not that Jason old, like, he's only like, like 100 years. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's probably only early 40s, like. Yeah, he's been around old. years, like, but he's also... What like, was the first thing Kelly Murphy... The think first of? thing I remember him was he played the Scarecrow in Batman Begins. <laughs> no, but he was seen that. He's always been in Christopher Nolan films, and now Christopher Nolan's... What family. have I seen him in before? Piggy Blinders? Piggy Blinders, Red Eye, Inception... No. Uh, nope. Sunshine 28 Days Later Nope uh, That was his first big film 28 Days Later Maybe it was just um, Peaky Blinders Tomorrow I'm going By myself 11 o'clock showing Mission Impossible 7 so In the morning? morning? Yeah I'm excited Like It'll be empty So I'm going to enjoy I myself I was about to say Do you not have Fucking work to go to? That's made me feel sick You're off for the summer Yeah yeah So I've got nothing to do Cause I, Rob, fuck you. Like Rob, Rob came in today, and I was sitting on the the sofa, and I went, "So, what's your opinion on this Adam Twenty Two thing?" And Rob was like, "I've told you before, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about." <laughs> Rob goes, "Your mind is rotten." <laughs> you're glad you got here to get someone to talk to. About yeah, it, yeah, like I was like, "So, what's your opinion?" Rob's like, "Stop asking me. I haven't a clue." Jesus Christ. Um, what about Hugh Edwards? See the wee Freudian slip. I also you've taught me that term recently. You said it about it's good in there. Oh, it's fucking class. It makes you sound real smart. Shane was on team with me. Yeah. I said it's massive to see how big our wee podcast has got. I'm like, oh, yeah, Freudian slip. Yeah, I fucking I'm obsessed said, with them now. It is good. Look. I uh, I should away tried to write it into a bit about Hugh Edwards. Put it in one of my bits tonight. I'm like, where can I get Hugh Edwards slipped in there? Am I really going to be mugged by Hugh Edwards here? He, he so loves yeah, he love a topical person. Yeah, no dice. I can't get him in at all. I've got a bit about like ordering from the takeaway that I'm, I've tried to put him in, but I'm not going to do it. This so week. what did he? What did he allegedly do? I don't fully know, but I think he was yeah. paying someone for nudes. But then there's that photo of him with his ass out. So was that him? Yeah, that yeah. Been that's his ass out. Yeah, <laughs> that's his dumpy. Damn! It. Uh, it's the fact that it's he, a good he, ass for a sixty-one year old. It's the fact that he's the guy that announces the death of the queen. Um, he's not the nine eleven. He's not like the wee fucking yeah. weather guy. He's the fucking and Bingley Mega Chippy. He announced as well the story on that. So Bingley like, Mega Chippy, remember that? Yeah, he, he announced that. Doing now. Ah, hopefully it's closed. You ever go back to these people? Sponsor the pod next week. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever go back to these people like the Bingley Mega Chippy? That I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. That's a man now. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah. Tish. yeah. Tish has transitioned to the yeah. man. Tish has transitioned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Sounds a girl. Like a maybe. There's a girl from this in his mum's car now. Yeah. There's a girl from the X Factor, and me and my mate Catherine were like, I wonder what she's up to these days. And we looked her up, and she fucking killed herself in the most brutal way possible. Is that the one who's all, I am not a number? Yeah, 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 yeah. you know how it's fucking yeah, brutal. Know well, we were on a brighter note, uh, Owen, Owen Quigg's taking wedding bookings, so if you're ever wondering where Owen Quigg was from the X Factor. Here, yeah. Owen Quigg um, DJs in the courthouse in Lurgan every now and again. Does he? Does he? Does he ever play as me and my five million friends to try and drop it in? That's a good tune. Um, Owen Quigg, send it here first. Not a bad lad. I didn't think he was ever a bad lad. No, he I quite like Owen Quigg. transplant. Jiggy had a hair transplant? Oh, he definitely did, yeah. Because I used to... This week's episode of RE Podcast is proudly sponsored by Prize Royale. Um, they are a competition website. Um, they've given away over a million pounds in prizes so far. They've had over a thousand winners and they've 20,000 followers on their social media. Basically what you do is you go to prizeroyale.com. You set yourself up with an account. It's absolutely free to do. And then once you have an account, um, you can buy as many tickets to their amazing competition giveaways. And they will send you an email and you can watch the draw for the competitions happen live. 
live or you can check it later on on our social media and um, give praise uh, praise royale we look guys yeah Unbelievable. Do you know what i love about him see if you don't win you're not out of it lads you're not out of it multiple prizes per entry and so you have to be in to win it you have to no ticket no tote get yourselves a few tickets on prize i entered one of their biggest website the other day 1.59 for a me. ticket for a ticket unbelievable get on it guys cash prizes holidays pokemon cards something for everyone Prize i have a very my hair in the in the developing stages of my mental hair <laughs> it, there was a stage where it was almost identical to Owen quigs and it was back do back, you think Owen quig might have seen your hair and then adopted is that what we're claiming no i think i've probably seen his and some consciously adopted okay okay he was he was the fate no was he up against jls but in the he was in jail last year, yeah. Was yeah, that, I, I prefer jail. Did Alexander Burke win that year? Merry Christmas. Yes. I love how I know nothing about music. X Factor 2008. Yeah. What about Diana Vickers? What about her? I'm only Some gonna pop. let you kill me. Here. Once. Was she, once, once, yeah. yeah. Was she the one, that, this is a weird early memory, was she the one that used to walk around on stage barefoot? Yes. 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 That's a, I like the one from Northern Ireland. Margot Robert. The fucking yeah. Quentin Tarantino over here. She's what do you call your girl from uh, Northern Ireland? Uh, Janet Devlin. Janet Devlin. She seems sound. She's, She's not good alcoholic. Out. <laughs> she <laughs> seems that's, sound, but that's uh, right she does seem sound, but yeah. she does load a podcast now talking about alcohol. Oh, is that her? Yeah, F- only people I I'm see. I'm pretty it. sure she's been on Diona's podcast. Yeah, I think she has actually. She's yeah. on it. What is your body count? I'm an alcoholic, but what what could you buy with your body count? <laughs> oh, has, has she been on this podcast? How many pints could you buy with your body count? <laughs> that that brings me to a fucking belter point. I made the purchase during the week. I made me many microphones to do like s- street interviews, and I, I basically sent it to Kieran, being like, "Would you want to come around and do this with me?" Because what Why other, you ask me? Hey, what other man's for you after one o'clock on a Friday uh, between one what and man five? isn't doing anything but <laughs> yeah, yeah. reading about Jason Love? Yeah, you <laughs> would have been like, "Yeah, we can do it," but it has to be in the courthouse. I'm like, yeah. "No," I would have been like. Like, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I go, I said, here a few ideas. It was, we'll go down, we'll like, you shade content. What's your favorite comedian? <laughs> Flash it out, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, what's your, what's your favorite comedian, right? <laughs> what, what's your favorite comedian? And the last two like, huh? what do you got, huh? love? What do you got, huh? love? <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> would you get your wife go with Jason Love? <laughs> Look how big my mate's dick is. <laughs> like, if asked, would you would you still stay with your wife if you let her afterwards? What? <laughs> and then the barman from Madden's walks past you. Go, oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, sure. <laughs> do, you, do you think it would be different, or do you think it would be better? For you? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I bought these little mics and I was brainstorming here and going like, I will ask you questions like, you know, who's your favourite comedian? Have you been to any comedy clubs in Northern Ireland? Just sort of general chit chat. Here. On yeah. The, yeah, to promote here is the whole idea of it. And I goes, Kieran, have you any ideas for what we could ask? And you're like, we could ask people like what their biggest ex are. And I was like, no. Yeah. Flat out. We no. serious? I meant. I wanted to almost prank him, like, what's your biggest dick? And when they say, they say, you know, when the guy is rude or when the guy's late, and I go, my biggest dick, and then say something absolutely wild. And kind of Give me something wild, out. you might have said. Yeah. Like, my ick my is... <laughs> I guess when my wife sleeps with Jason. <laughs> All right, I go home. This yeah. is fucking. That's this, your fucking king. This, yeah. but, uh, see if you get up later in Madden's and start jumping with Jason Love. I'm taking you off. Cut yeah. the mic. I have, a, I have a bit of a. Do you actually? I have one line. Of course she does. Of course you do. Does. Of course you um, do. So yeah, watch it for the street interview. With Karen yeah, and Sean. fucking. If you see Sean walking about with my mic, go over and get involved. I haven't lost yeah. the plot. I am joining you as well. Has, but yeah, but I'll, I'll be. I'll be serious. I'll be head screwed on. You know. Well, the problem. The problem we have here is that you'll be helping me film the content, and let's just say. You've had some ropey record with uh, video content in the past. But I can, I'm I'm the face, I think. Do you think I've bought these mics and invited you down for me to stand and film you? What sort of yeah. Adam 22 and Jason Love situation do you think this is? Why do you keep mentioning that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like I, I have a bit of, sl- like, what's the word? Dark charisma about me. Dark charisma? Uh, but, you know, well, what, what's, your, what's your biggest dick? What could you buy with your body count? See, this is what happens when these two try and do things by themselves. It yeah. just doesn't go you well. Need the glue of Giffen. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'll call over like a proper. I'll call that guy who keeps coming in here with a blonde hair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Role play. So, I'm walking down the street. Approach me. <laughs> <laughs> well, fella, what could you buy with your body count? <laughs> Sorry, what? What could you buy with your body count? Why are you asking me these strange questions? Who are you? Uh, I'm Kieran uh, from Are We Comedy Club. What is that? It's a comedy club in Madden's Bar, uh, yes. so we run it every Tuesday. Right. What could you buy with your body count? Mate, I, have a bu- I have a bus to catch here. Get why why are you asking me that? Do you need some deodorant? Actually, my jumper's a bit from the rain. Is this part of the bit? No. Uh, <laughs> guys, who's your favourite comedian? Pete? I'm one person. Yeah, not plural. Okay, okay. Uh, Peter, what, what's your name? I have a totally different name. Okay. Right, start again, start again, start again. Walking down the street. You're coming out of Boozham. I'm coming out of Boozham. Right, oh, also, it's not Pete this time. 
It's a female. Okay. Am I doing the voice? You're doing the voice. Okay. Well, slag. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you dirty trump. <laughs> Peter, how are you doing? I'll have an ooze ring. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have an ooze ring. Okay. Well, uh, so Gary fancies you. Uh, how's it going? Um, fancies maybe like that. <laughs> uh, how's, how's it going? Um, do, you, do, you, do you ever go to the sports club? Uh, do you ever hear a comedian? Uh, yeah, I do go to Ulster Sports Club. There's this, uh, there's this really attractive, like, bald comedian called Pete Giffen. I really like. He's mates with that wee gimp, Kieran Franco, but I don't really fancy him. God damn it! <laughs> See, you've lost. It's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, it's not so, gonna work. Oh, but I like to reference well. These mics are like. That by the way, that was that was that was the nose ring. Nose ring, yeah. I don't Kieran? want people to think I'm. I know, like, nose. I, know yeah. I like this. This seven. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. So, do you want to go into the questions? I think, I think we've, yeah, I think, I think we've, 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 our minds are melted. I haven't even been drinking and I've got wet brain. My brain is dry. Yeah. My brain is damp. Well, oh, first yeah. question from Thomas. He asks, who out of use has the best palate and who out of use has the worst palate? Oh. No, I, I swore you were going to try and say it's me for the worst palate and I'm not having it. Well, I mean, two versus one, sort of. No, no, because... No, you watched last episodes back. Yeah, I just yeah. say I just had chicken goujons. So okay. That was a family yeah. thing. I've been born okay. in that. Don't judge me on them. Can I say something? I don't think you have a really bad palate, but I still think you have the worst one. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's a difference. I get what there. you're saying there. You're trying to, mm. yeah, you're trying to caress yeah. me in here. But I think no. Well, don't wink at me. That was so weird. <laughs> you just wink at me. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, I'm going to defend myself straight right here. He I wants don't to think, taste your palate. I, I yeah. don't think. <laughs> I don't think my level of shade food that I eat would be as shade as what you eat. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like, yeah. Like, I don't eat, like, kebab meat and stuff like that. Yeah. Because, like, that's well, shade. Yeah, okay. Do you well, know what I mean? I, hope, I suppose it defines what what does a good palate mean. Yeah, someone, like, a lot of variety. To me, a good palate, yeah, is a wide range. You've yeah. got the shiteness and you've got the best of stuff. Well, it starts with, how do you... How Are you how, saying how on how average? You, how do you get yeah. your steak cooked? We'll start with that. Bro. Mm, that's, that's a good, strong answer. How do you get your steak cooked? Medium, and I'm... Ever so slightly moving towards medium rare, but I'm it's close to you. Medium and might try maybe a medium yeah. rare, but medium. So well, I think that's fairly even across the board. Yeah. Because if you go for well done, you're immediately out of this conversation. Put it this way. Yeah. You go to a seafood restaurant, what are you ordering? I don't go to a seafood restaurant. I order a steak in a seafood restaurant in Spain there. Uh, mussels to start, then probably like a sea bass or a lobster. Well done. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have good taste. Yeah. Okay, this 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 is a, this this question is from my brother. Shout out to divide us. This, I, I this say, question's loaded. I would, I say, would yeah. say it goes in this order. I would say you're the best, and then me, then you. But I don't understand what makes it a bad palate. I just palate. think the adventuredness of it, the amount of stuff that. See, you I was going to yeah. say you taste something and you go, like you eat basically the same thing from like say five restaurants and you can rank them best to worst. Do you know okay. what I mean? Well, yeah, that's like so. If you go Nando's, KFC. Oh no, no, no 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 no! If you went and got like five steaks. Just five sterling steaks, okay. and then you can tell which one was the best and rank them. All the exact same. Okay, yeah. You can tell from the all, you can tell like, all the food. Yeah. How it's been seasoned, maybe, how maybe, it's been here, prepped. Maybe we do this bonus content. Yeah, we may do, do we, we do it. We do a blind taste test and stuff. Yeah. 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 Speaking of, bonus content coming up soon, I think. Is there? I don't know. Well, we Drop to, some yeah. comments down below, because we will be doing that over the next, I don't know, next sort of six months or a year. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll look into stuff. Um, Comment down below if you'd like to see some bonus stuff. Um, I'll ask a question here and I'll let you finish off. Give me more stuff, Dennis. Yeah. Um, Olivia Bell asks... Great name. Olivia Bell. That is a good name. That is a good name. Uh, It's it's not really a question. She just says Harry Styles. (laughs) That's the question. So, what's your opinions on Harry Styles? What do you think his palate's like? Terrible actor. Uh, Yeah, is he bad? Yeah, really bad in... uh, It's called Don't Worry, Darling, a film he was in. Mm. Fucking terrible. But he's not an actor. Yeah, but why cast him in a film? I suppose it'll bang money, but... Uh, exactly. Yeah. 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 He's in Dunkirk as well. Yeah, Dunkirk, you know Dunkirk he doesn't really speak in it, but so he kind of gets away oh, with yeah. it. that's right. Yeah. I like his style. I love Dunkirk, by the way. What a film. I don't mind Harry's style. I, I, like, his, I like his style and how he it's, goes What annoyed me is when he released his first album, people were like, he's the next boy. I'm like, let's just... Relax. That's not his fault. Let's relax. Do you ever see the clip of him like coming out of like a wee shop in America like at like midnight? And he's just like dressed, you know, like just cut him down to the shop to get like, a couple of drinks mm-hmm. and some guy shows him a magic trick where like he like, flicks his yes. hat up and he just goes nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like oh, okay good nice one um, any other questions finish this up yeah I have two uh, Peter Fullerton <laughs> that's a fucking name that yeah I like the jacket yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just asked when's the next no that's joke f- which fuck hey, here, All right, here. Put, put money on it no he didn't account. no he didn't burner account <laughs> Yeah, he genuinely put in Twitter. So okay, 
Uh, and uh, sometime in August. And what is the other one? He's laid back. He is. Yeah. When it happens, it happens. George Robinson asks, "Do you collect anything?" Did you see that clip from Kill Tony? No. No. There's like no. a clip going out. And it was like their whatever show, like a thousand show special or whatnot. And they have this like black comedian come on stage. And they're like, do you get to know him afterwards? He had a really good set. And he's like, like what, are you, what are you into? Like, what should we know about you? And he's, he basically drops the argos. Like, I'm not R-worded or anything here, but uh, I like to collect rocks. I <laughs> 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 just has a of rocks in his pocket. I was like, like nothing. I just like how the feel, man. I was just like shaking these rocks around his hand. I can get it. I, I loved rock- it. I used to collect comic books a lot. I uh, went to Comic Con and all in London when my dad took me over and stuff. But nice. It uh, see if I could have the money back from all the comic books now, I would fucking really do it. Like it'd be good, yeah. Yeah, there's like one comic I have, Batman the Killing Joke. I think if I sold it now, it'd be worth a lot. Like, but it's just sat in my parents' house in the attic. Like, so if times get tough, I might. That's what I used to collect postcards from around Ireland and top trumps. Remember the big games, top trumps. Yeah, top, yeah, yeah. I used to collect different ones then. I used to collect when I was younger. Um, I think I've said this before in the podcast. Wooden uh, boomerangs, foreign countries. Oh, yes. Yeah, I get it. So and then I took them out. To, I actually remember what happened in the story. I took them all out one day on the street and tried to throw them to get them to come back. And then didn't obviously. Oh, they were smashed, yeah. Spring back and just smashed on the ground. So I just ruined my whole boomerang Jesus collection. Christ. But one thing I collect actually more recently is. Uh, and it's, a good, it's a good. It's <laughs> good. Why did you sound like fucking Jeff and the Matrainers? <laughs> I, uh, this was going to be very sweet until you ruined that beautiful okay, moment. Apologies. I uh, collect, um, I collect uh, 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 posters from like comedy gigs that I've done. Uh, so that. I've, oh, got, a, yeah. I've got the first no joke one, the first ever no joke one that's made, quite arty. I've got the yeah. speakeasy one and a couple of other ones that we've all featured. You on. also give me as a present, which is quite lovely. When I moved into my house, so you gave mm-hmm. me a present, which is a framed poster for speakeasy, which seven months later, I put it up in the house. And then we moved out and it's not in the background of the video anymore. Yeah. Compl- like, I want it back. My mum, when I uh, when I moved into the house, she was like, I got you a wee present, your favourite bar ever. And it was like a drawing of the sunflower. I'm like, I like it, like, but it's like... It's bad in my head. I thought you meant a chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's I was like, yeah. why is your mum yeah. more? It'll be a big whisper. Be <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite chocolate bar? Um, Kinder Bueno. Easy. I'm a whisper man, I think. Uh, Dairy Milk Caramel. Mm. From the south, from the south. No, Golden Crisp actually. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Free State Golden Crisp. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's hard yeah, to beat. Yeah, yeah. Tastes Free, like freedom. F- yeah. Football special as well. <laughs> you know, I love crunchy rocks. Football special is shit. I'm sorry. Football special is all right. Yeah, it's it n- is brown lemonade. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Right, guys, can we wrap this up? Yep, yeah, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Uh, looking forward to a good show tonight. Uh, for anyone who didn't make it down to Madden's uh, last week, uh, Pete had his work of progress before going to the Edinburgh mm-hmm. Fringe, which was yeah. fucking class, wasn't it? Yes, let's um, put positive vibes out into the atmosphere. It's going to go really well tonight. I'm really looking forward to this tonight, man. I haven't seen you perform in a while. Fuck me, no pressure. Yeah. I'll be pleased to announce that we don't really have anything to promote, do we? No. I can't be fuck promote. Yeah, no. We're coming forward. Just have, um, I know you just enough. You just Here, switch. actually, I will. I'll promote this. Um, our socials, get on the fucking Instagram, follow the Instagram page, um, get on our TikTok account, RE Podcast. Yep. We're flat out um, putting clips on Instagram and TikTok. So follow them, see this podcast, do me a wee favour. If you've listened this far to the end, you're obviously like a fucking avid listener, send in that group chat, send it to a couple of Please. mates. We we'll really want to fucking grow the pod. Yep. If you see it and you like it, drop a wee like, engage, drop a wee comment, even if it's just a wee fucking emoji. We want to fucking see everyone's name yeah. out there. I've noticed as well on the Spotify, we have like yeah. 64 reviews, which is fucking class. Thank you to every single person that's done that and read us five stars. That actually means a lot. But we get like a lot more listeners than that on. So if you're just watching it, just literally hit the, hit the button. Hit you already like. have a Spotify account yeah. and you just hit the button, five stars. Share it about. Done. Share yeah, it, it takes about. Two seconds. We really do appreciate it, guys. Yes, these are all legends. But yeah, but, um, we'll be back it? next week. Yep, good point. See you then, boys. See you then.